One of the most important skills as a GIS analyst is being able to find data, but also get it into your software. Here's an example. I've found some 10 kilometer gridded population data of Canada from 2016. It's open data and they have provided this link to this Esri REST service. You don't need to know much about this, but if you come across it and you click on the link, it will take you to a page like this. And unless you're used to it, you won't know what to do, but copy the URL from here. And these pages look similar. So if you see a page like this, you can copy the URL and go to your browser panel in QGIS. You might need to scroll down to see this thing that says ArcGIS REST servers. I'm going to right click, hit new connection. The name I'm going to give this is Canada 10KM Grid Pop. So just put in a descriptive name. The important thing is the URL. I'm going to paste that in and click OK. If I expand in the browser the Esri REST servers, you can see I've added different ones before. And then Canada 10KM pop grid is there. If I double click this, it's going to add it to QGIS. Now, sometimes these feature server links are pulling in lots of data. So if you've got hundreds of thousands of features, it's gonna take quite a while because it's downloading it from the internet into QGIS. So I'll just pause the recording for a moment until this loads on my computer. And yeah, Canada is a big country, so maybe I should have chosen a smaller one. But let's just pause and start again when it appears. Yeah, okay, Canada, why do you have to be so big? So the data is still loading, but I've zoomed in to the more populated parts of Canada so we can see what's happening. And once we've got this, we can right click, export, and we can save this to any format we like. So that's how you can get data from an Esri REST service into QGIS.